My story starts with this. I'm side stage at a venue. All the lights in the room except for the stage lights are off. The crowd is restless, clearly ready for the next band, my band, to come out on stage. Speaking of my band, we were freaking out a little bit. Um, now, I don't ever really get stage fright before shows, um, but for this show, and this one right now, I'm nervous. <laughs> um, I, and maybe it's because that was my last show with that band or the fact that until 20 minutes before we were supposed to play, all four of us were running around the venue looking for our ensemble director because it was an organized ensemble through music school. So we're all standing there side stage, and we're arguing about who wanted to go out on stage first. And of course, none of us did. Now, I'd stayed pretty silent throughout the entire debate, um, so our singer, Emma, turns to me and says, hey, why don't you go out on stage first? Without even thinking about it, I just say, dude, I can't see. And she said, what she said next made me laugh way harder than it probably should have. Because she said, what do you mean you can't see? And yeah, I just responded with, yeah, I'm visually impaired. Did I not tell you? Uh, yeah, maybe I told her, but most likely I probably didn't. But it didn't matter, though, because I had bigger things to think about, like the show I was supposed to play. So yeah, if you couldn't tell while I was playing, I'm visually impaired. I have no vision at all in my left eye and only 20% uh, 20 or 20, yeah, 20 field of view in my right. So uh, I'm pretty damn blind, even though I don't want to admit it sometimes. Oh, and uh, I'm also a triplet. I have two brothers. They both have 20-20 vision, <laughs> right? Um, now, I've never really been bothered by the fact I'm visually impaired or the fact that I'm the only visually impaired one in my, uh, my family. Um, that's mostly because I think my parents always raised me, treated me the same way that they treated my brothers. I learned how to ski, ride a bike, skateboard. I played um, little league soccer and t-ball. Um, so my childhood was unbelievably normal. But there was something special about my childhood, though, and that is that my dad introduced me to heavy metal at the age of five. <laughs> yeah. Um, he showed me all the classics, Iron Maiden, Metallica, Black Sabbath, and uh, some newer bands for the time, um, which were Linkin Park, Disturbed, and a whole bunch of other bands that I still listen to to this day. Metal has become a full-time obsession for me, and my goal is to become a professional metal drummer. But why metal and music in general is so important to me it goes way deeper than just casual listening. It's something that I can connect with and something that will always make my day better. It doesn't matter if I'm feeling sad or lonely or anxious or anything. I can just throw on some sick jams and all my problems will just go away for a few minutes. You'd be shocked at how much a few gnarly guitar riffs and some blast beats can improve my day. But I digress. My life has not always been so easy as forget I'm blind and listen to metal all day. Um, there have been times where I've really struggled. 
Now, one of those times was middle school. Now, everyone hates middle school, but it was especially terrible for me because it was around the time where I was transitioning from doing all of my work in printed Braille to doing it in an electronic format. Now, how you do work in printed Braille is by using this machine called a Brailler. And now how this works is it's this big chunk of metal with a Braille keyboard on it. And it's loud and heavy and draws a lot of attention. And now I, I had used it all throughout elementary school to do all my work on. I never really thought about it, it never bothered me, but in middle school, I really hated it. It made me feel different from everyone else, and I honestly felt really singled out. Now, I had a few close friends, but I was never really one of the popular kids, which I desperately wanted to be. Um, so middle school was rough, but there is something that it didn't teach me, and that is very important. That is, in eighth grade, I realized something. I realized exactly how much music meant to me that year. I found out that I didn't need to fit in with the sports kids because I fit in with the metal people and the musicians and like the band kids and the nerds. And it didn't matter that I was visually impaired. What mattered was that I was a musician and a metalhead and that I could do anything I set my mind to. And I finally knew who I belonged with. But where am I now? Right now, I am in my first semester at UMass Lowell studying sound recording technology. Hey, UML. <laughs> studying sound recording technology. But college is hard. College is really, really hard. Being a music major, especially, is way more difficult than I ever could have imagined. It's not just you sit down and play drums all day. I have to take calculus. And being visually impaired in college is also a massive pain in the ass. Like, there's this whole process that I got to go through of accommodation letters, um, different file formats, and meeting with professors to even do my homework, let alone the process of getting out of the music building at midnight because I was practicing for three hours, but then realizing that I forgot my cane in my dorm room again, and just praying that I don't run into anything or anyone because there are no streetlights on South Campus. Um, but even on my darkest days, I, there's a little voice in my head telling me that I'll be fine and I'll get through it. I'll survive college and I'll even have a little fun while I'm at it. Um, now, so what's the point though? Why did I just have you all listen to my entire life story? Well, I'll tell you. The point is that throughout my life, I've never seen my visual impairment as a burden or a curse or a hindrance in any way. It has never bothered me. I never let the fact I couldn't see get me down or get in the way of my doing the things that I wanted to do. I just lived. Disability is not this impassable obstacle that I could never overcome. It's always just been a part of who I am. Um, also, I've never let my disability define who I am. It's never been my only character trait. I know that there's a lot more to my personality and who I am than just being the blind kid. I'm just the same as every other college student just trying to figure out how this whole life thing works. And Oh yeah, uh, if you all were wondering how that show went I was talking about in the beginning, uh, we killed it, actually. Um, yeah. You know, I did almost trip over the drum riser because I did go out on stage first, but we killed it. Thank you.